Hi, today we've got another unboxing video for you. This is the Metcal HCT2-120 hot air pencil. Uh, this is the new product from Metcal. I think they just started shipping in uh, at the start of January. Uh, this is a smaller rework tool than the other ones in their range, so only a 120 watt ceramic heater. Uh, but the the tool itself is a lot lighter and the um, the unit's quite a lot smaller as well, which which fits in uh, a bit better for the kind of work that I'll be using it for. Okay, so let's have a look inside the box and see what we've got. Um, so we've got some kind of uh, information leaflet. Mains lead. Stand. Got a uh, another one on the pads for removing the tips. The US lead. Delete that. Um, a pack of nozzles. Uh, you can see they're pretty small. Um, then we have the unit itself. in the box. Okay so let's have a closer look at the unit. Um, on the front we have um, a triple seven segment display and a bar graph. The display presumably shows the the temperature um, so you can you can set the temperature with the arrows and then I presume after a few seconds it will switch back to showing what the actual temperature of the air is. And then also we have a bar graph which should show um, the airflow uh, that you've set. So um, I think the this device has an airflow rating of 1.5 to 7 litres per minute. So uh, at the bottom it will be 1.5 litres per minute and when, when it's lit all the way up at the top it will be 7 litres per minute. On the back, um, we just have a, an IEC connector, um, and it looks like a. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a 3.5 millimeter jack or a, or a banana um, socket. Um, let's have a look at the, the leaflet and see what that is. It doesn't actually doesn't mention anything about it in the quick start guide. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'll have to have a look at that later. Um, so again this is another device with uh, universal input voltage 100 to 240 volts and um, frequency 50, 60 hertz. Um, the stand that we've got um, has space for um, these uh, different tips. So I think it comes with um, a few different uh, size nozzles, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5 and 4 millimeter um, nozzles. And it looks like you just you just store them by poking them uh, in here in the stand. It's already been fitted with one um, already, and we also have uh, a tip changing uh, pad so that you can undo this while it's hot and replace the tip although I think uh, handling these um, is going to be a bit fiddly while it's hot. Um, and the, the handpiece just uh, sits in there quite nicely. Um, it's not too uh, clumsy to use. The, the rubber um, tubing which presumably has uh, some control wires and the airflow is a bit, uh, well, it's fairly manoeuvrable. Um, we'll have to see what it's like when we're, when we're using it, but it doesn't seem, doesn't seem too bad at all. Um, so I'll just grab a mains lead um, and we'll see what happens when we turn it on. Okay, so now I've got the unit plugged into the mains, so I'll just turn it on and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so while the handpiece is in the stand, 
it looks like it goes into uh, sleep mode where it turns off the, the fan and the heater. So if I uh, remove this from the stand, you can see the temperature climbing. It's fairly quiet in operation. Um, I don't mind that too much. And it's now reached its set point. Um, so we should be able to use these these buttons here to adjust the temperature. It takes uh, takes a few seconds actually uh, of you holding the button down before it starts adjusting, which is a little bit annoying. Um, you can adjust it in in increments of one degree um, easily, but yeah, it seems to have a slightly longer delay than you'd want. Um, if you're grossly adjusting the value, and then on this side we can adjust the fan, uh, the pump speed. Okay, so it looks like it's displaying um, the airflow in liters per minute as you adjust it, as well as um, changing the display on the bar graph. So it should go down to 1.5. And all the way up to 7. Um, it's still not too noisy at 7 litres per minute. Um, might be interesting just to get a thermocouple and uh, just have a look and see if it really is uh, what the temperature is like at the end of the, the nozzle. Um, Okay, and when we put the um, handpiece back into the stand, it turns off the heater and it looks like it just runs the pump to uh, cool the, uh, the handpiece down. You can actually increase the airflow still. And you can change the set point while it's in the stand as well. Um, Okay, and once it gets to 100 degrees, it, it turns the pumps off. So I'll just grab uh, my meter and we'll, we'll try and measure the temperature. Right, so I've got the meter set up to read temperature. Uh, I've got the thermocouple plugged in. Um, so let's see what kind of temperature it reads. I don't know um, whether it will be able to uh, read the same temperature because the, the airflow may have an effect on... Uh, on the temperature that's picked up by the thermocouple. I've got this poked in here. Seems to think it's already at 300 degrees and the temperature's slowly climbing. Slowly going up. Doesn't like it's doesn't look like it's gonna get up there to three hundred though. I suspect the, the airflow is having an effect. Okay, well, I don't know, it's not gonna get there. Well um we'll have a go at uh, soldering a few parts with this thing. Um I've not really used a, a rework station before uh, for soldering, um, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, so we'll have a go at um, reflowing a few parts on this board. Got my solder paste here. Try and get a bit on each pad.
looks pretty good. And then we'll place the uh, capacitors on here. It's easiest just to uh, roughly place them first and then push them down afterwards in place. Doesn't shouldn't matter if they're not completely uh, lined up as long as they're the paste is contacting both pads ok, they seem to be in place um, I've set the temperature to 400 degrees and the airflow to 3.5 litres per minute if the airflow is too high it can sometimes blow the components around a bit so let's, let's see how it goes Seems to be uh, reflowing those okay. So I don't know if you just saw they kind of pulled into place on the pads centrally, and the uh, the solder's now nice and shiny. Try it again on these. one and two and we'll do it on these again I don't know if that shows up on camera but just before it properly reflows you just see a, a little bit of smoke coming from from the pads which I presume is the flux burning off. We'll just do these last two parts. Okay, that doesn't look too bad at all. I think those are done. So I've not used the uh the device long enough to form a full opinion on it, but uh, just soldering those few parts, um, that all seems fine. Um, it's quite quick to heat up, um, fairly quiet in use, um, and yeah, it uh, seems well built and everything. Uh, I like the uh, MX5200, this uh, this unit's also quite well built. Um, not qu doesn't feel quite as uh, solid. It's not completely die cast like the. Uh, the Metcal uh, soldering station, but it's um, still pretty good, and the uh, the handpiece is nice and lightweight and fits well into the hand. So uh, yeah, quite impressed with that. Um, catch you next time.